Warriors NRL Fanatics here back today with a video and I'm going to go through my top four signings to watch out for for the Warriors in the 2021 NRL season. Now starting off at number four I've gone with the St George Illawarra Dragons centre Ewan Aiken and a lot of people um, were questioning the signing because they were going on the basis of that game against the Brisbane Broncos where Ewan Aiken got palmed off and uh, got palmed off by Katoni Staggs and he ran away to score a try and you can't really judge Ewan Aiken on that one particular game Ewan Aiken's a good player and um, he was talked about a couple of years ago for New South Wales selections and he's played internationals for um, Scotland in the Rugby League World Cup and Ewan Aiken's a very very good player and I really rated the signing when they did announce it so yeah he's definitely one of my top four signings to watch out for for the Warriors in the 2021 season. At number three I've gone with Ben Murdoch Masilla. Now I don't follow the Super League I don't I don't watch the, the Warrington Wolves but from what I've heard uh, Ben Murdoch Masilla didn't really set the world on fire in the UK this year stats wise but he's definitely still a very good player so he's played for Tonga he's played a few games in the NRL as well don't forget he's played a, a couple of games in the NRL so Ben Murdoch Masilla although he's not he's not young he's a little he's a little bit aging he's been around for quite a bit but you can't question Ben Murdoch Masilla won't be a top three signing to watch out for for the Warriors in the 2021 season so I reckon he will take a few games to get used to the um, NRL and the new rules and stuff but he'll definitely be one of the top three signings to watch out for at number two I've gone with Bailey Serenin and and this signing really surprised me it came out of nowhere because there weren't many uh, media reports and um rumors around us signing him it just came out of nowhere that we signed um Bailey Serenin and he's a great young prospect he's played for the um South Sydney Rabbitohs and he's come off the bench for some games and hopefully he gets a few opportunities in first grade next year because if he does I reckon he'll definitely go quite well so yeah he'll, he'll he'll be a signing to watch out for for sure and number one no surprises here you all know who I'm going to pick. I've gone with Adam Fenua Blake from the Manly Seagulls, and well, what a, what a signing this this has been. Um, signing Adam Fenua Blake um, for 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 what I um thought, I thought um, Adam Fenua Blake would stick around for Manly for a long time. I thought he was going to hang around there, but but he decided that he wanted to um, get a release from his contract from Manly and. And Manly said, we'll let you go. And he decided to come sign for the Warriors. And it was um it's a very handy pickup for us overall. So he's gonna definitely add a lot to our four pack. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how he goes in the 2021 NRL season. So yeah, that is my top four signings to watch out for for the 2021 season for the Warriors. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button. At the moment, we're about 153 subscribers. So help us get to 200 subscribers before the uh, start of the NRL season, which kicks off in March. Like the video and comment your thoughts. What do you think of my top four signings to watch in 2021? And what would you like to see um, on the channel? Because next year I will be still doing this, the um, reviews after the games. The um, game reviews. I'll be doing general discussion videos like um, chatting about some of the news going around the club and um, some signings. And yeah, what would you like me to do on the channel? What would you like to see me do a video of? Yeah, I'll see you again in the next video.